Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have learned how to draw perpendicular to a line from a point on the line and also we have learned how to draw perpendicular to a line from a point outside the line. Now let us take the answer of the homework. Draw triangle ABC with AB equal to 6 cm angle A equal to 22 and half degree, angle B equal to 67 and half degree. How can we draw 22 and half degree angle? It is difficult using a protractor. So let us double it and we can make an angle of 45 degree easily. And when you draw a bisector of this angle, the 45 degree angle will be divided into two equal angles of 22 and half degree. In the same way, instead of taking 67 and half degree, we can double it and draw an angle of 135 degree. And when we draw the bisector, we get two equal angles of 67 and half degree. Let us see how to do it. First of all, let us draw the line AB of length 6 cm. Now we need angle A equal to 22 and half degree, but we cannot draw 22 and half degree using protractor. So double it and make an angle of 45 degree at A. Now it is enough to draw the bisector of this angle to get 22 and half degree. For that, put the composite A and draw an arc to meet the sides of the angle. Mark the point of intersection. Join that to A. That is the bisector of angle A and thus we get 22 and half degree at A. Now we need 67 and half degree at B. Again, double it and make an angle of 135 degree at B. Now we have to draw the bisector of this angle. For that, put the composite B and draw an arc. Mark the point of intersection of this arc with the sides of the angle. And from these two points, draw arcs of same radii. Mark the point of the intersection. Join that to B. That is the bisector of angle B and thus we got 67 and half degree at B. Now the intersecting point of these two bisectors is the point C. Now look at triangle ABC. AB is 6 cm. Angle A is 22 and half degree. Angle B is 67 and half degree. Now let us do the remaining problems of page 30. Draw a triangle and the perpendicular bisectors of all three sides. Do all three bisectors intersect at the same point? First of all, let us draw a triangle. Let it be ABC. Now we have to draw perpendicular bisectors of all the three sides. First of all, let us draw the perpendicular bisector of the side AB. For that, put the composite A, take more than half of the length of AB and draw arcs on both sides of AB. Now put the composite B, taking the same radius, draw arcs on both sides of AB. Mark the points of intersections, join them. This line is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Now let us draw the perpendicular bisector of BC. Put the composite B, take more than half of the length of BC, draw arcs on both sides of BC. Now put the composite C, take the same radius and draw arcs on both sides of BC. 
mark the points of intersections join them this line is the perpendicular bisector of the side bc now let us draw the perpendicular bisector of ac put the composite c take more than half of the length of ac and draw arcs on both sides of ac and put the composite a take the same radius draw arcs on both sides of ac mark the points of intersections join them this line is the perpendicular bisector of the side ac now we can see all the three perpendicular bisectors intersect at a point next problem draw a triangle and bisectors of all three angles do all three bisectors intersect at the same point first of all let us draw a triangle let it be triangle abc now we have to draw the bisectors of all the three angles at first let me draw the bisector of angle a for that put the compass at a and draw an arc mark the points of intersection of this arc with the sides of the angle from these points draw arcs of same radii mark the point of intersection of these arcs join that to a this is the bisector of angle a now let us draw the bisector of angle b draw an arc from b mark the points of intersection of this arc with the sides taking same radius draw arcs from these points mark the point of intersection join that to b this line is the bisector of angle c similarly let us draw the bisector of angle c draw the arc mark the points of intersection from these points draw arcs of same radii mark the point of intersection join that to c this is the bisector of angle c now you can see all the three bisectors intersect at a point eighth problem prove that if both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal then it is a parallelogram first of all let us take a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are equal that is let a b c d be a quadrilateral in which a b and c d are equal and a d and b c are equal now join a c then the quadrilateral is divided into two triangles a c is common for both the triangles given that a b and c d are equal and a d and b c are equal means the other sides of the triangles are also equal that is the three sides of triangle abc are equal to the three sides of triangle adc therefore the triangles are equal when two triangles are equal the angles opposite to equal sides are equal here ab and cd are equal the angle opposite to ab is this angle and angle opposite to cd is this angle these two angles are equal now these two angles are the alternate angles formed when the sides ad and bc are intersected by ac they are equal means the sides ad and bc are parallel in the same way since ad and bc are equal the angles opposite to them are also equal that is this angle and this angle are equal they are a pair of alternate angles formed when the sides ab and cd are intersected by the line ac 
they are equal means the sides a b and c d are parallel that means both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and therefore a b c d is a parallelogram we can see one more thing here opposite to the side ac is the angle d in triangle adc and angle b in triangle abc therefore angle b and angle d are equal now look at the parallelogram abcd we can see that angle b and angle d are equal they are a pair of opposite angles they are equal in the same way instead of ac if you join bd we can prove that angle a and angle c are also equal that means in a parallelogram the opposite angles are equal so if you are asked to prove the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal you can prove like this take these two triangles and prove that the triangles are equal then angle b equal to angle d after that join bd and consider these two triangles abd and bcd and you can prove the triangles are equal just like this and from that we can say angle a and angle c are equal anyway the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal ninth problem in the figure below abcd is a parallelogram and ap equal to cq prove that pbqd is a parallelogram let us take the figure at first we have to prove that pbqd is a parallelogram how can we prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel then it is a parallelogram in the previous problem we have seen that if both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal then it is a parallelogram so it is enough to prove that the opposite sides of the quadrilateral pb qd are equal pb and dq are a pair of opposite sides let us check whether they are equal or not consider the side pb if you take the line ab and from that remove ap what remains pb right so we can say pb equal to ab minus ap now ab and dc are equal because they are opposite sides of the parallelogram abcd so we can replace ab by dc in the same way it is given that ap and cq are equal so we can replace ap by cq so let us replace ab by cd or dc and ap by cq now what is dc minus cq dc minus cq that is equal to dq that is pb equal to dq pb equal to dq that means one pair of opposite sides of the quadrilateral pb qd are equal now we have to prove that these two sides are also equal for that let us consider these two triangles that is triangle apd and triangle cqb the sides ad and bc are equal because they are opposite sides of the parallelogram abcd and we know the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal now it is given that ap and cq are equal in the previous problem we have discussed that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal angle a and angle c are a pair of opposite angles of the parallelogram abcd therefore they are equal that means the two sides and angle made by them of this triangle apd are equal to the two sides and angle made by them of this triangle cqb therefore the triangles are equal 
when two triangles are equal the sides opposite to equal angles are equal here angle a and angle c are equal therefore the sides opposite to them pd and bq are equal that means this pair of opposite sides are also equal so we have seen that both pairs of opposite sides of this quadrilateral pbqd are equal that means pbqd is a parallelogram today we have done some problems of page 30 now there is a homework prove that if all sides of a parallelogram are equal then each diagonal is the perpendicular bisector of the other in the next video we will discuss the remaining problems of page 30 and 31 till then bye